Standard 6 Mass Appraisal Reporting. In reporting the results of a mass appraisal, an appraiser must communicate each analysis, opinion, and conclusion in a manner that is not misleading. <clears throat> Standard 6 does not dictate the form, format, or style of the report. Those are functions of the needs of intended users and appraisers. However, mass appraisal reports must be in writing and cannot be presented in an oral format. Open the blinds for the kitty cat. Number one, standards rule 6-1. Each written mass appraisal report must clearly and accurately set forth the appraisal in a manner that will not be misleading, contain sufficient information to enable the intended users of the appraisal to understand the report properly, and you're so mean, clearly and accurately disclose all assumptions, extraordinary assumptions, hypothetical conditions, and limiting conditions used in the assignment. Standards Rule 6.2. Each written report of a mass appraisal must state the identity of the client unless the client has specifically requested otherwise and state identity of any intended users by name. State the intended use of the appraisal. Disclose any assumptions or limiting conditions that result in deviations from recognized methods and techniques or that affect analysis, opinions, and conclusions. State the effective date of the appraisal and the date of the report. State the type of definition of value and cite source of the definition. State the properties appraised, including the property rights. Summarize the scope of work used to develop the appraisal. Exclusion of any of the approaches to value must be explained. Summarize and support the model specifications considered and the models chosen. Summarize the procedure for collecting, validating, and reporting data. Summarize calibration methods considered and chosen. When an opinion of highest and best use or the appropriate market level was developed, uh, summarize the rationale for that opinion. Identify the appraisal performance test used and the performance measures attained. Summarize the reconciliation performed in accordance with Standards Rule 5.7 and include a signed certification in accordance with Standards Rule 6.3. Standards Rule 6.3. Each written mass appraisal report must contain a signed certification that is similar in content to the following form. I certify to the best of my knowledge and belief the statement of fact contained in this report are true and correct. The reported analysis, opinions, and conclusions are limited only by the reported assumptions and limiting conditions and are my personal, impartial, and unbiased professional analysis, opinion, and conclusions. I have no, or the specified, present or prospective interest in the property that is the subject of this report, and I have no, or the specified, personal interest with the respect of the parties involved. I have performed no or the specified services as an appraiser or in any other capacity regarding the property that is the subject of this report within the three-year period immediately preceding acceptance of this assignment. I have no bias with respect to any property that is the subject of this report or to the parties involved with this assignment. My engagement in this assignment was not contingent upon developing or reporting predetermined results. My compensation from completing this assignment is not contingent upon the reporting of a predetermined value or direction in value that favors the cause of the client, the amount of the value opinion, the attainment of the stipulated result, or the occurrence of a subsequent event directly related to the intended use of this appraisal. <clears throat> My analysis... My analysis, opinions, and conclusions were developed, and this report has been prepared in conformity with the uniform standards of professional appraisal practice. I have, or have not, made a personal inspection of the properties that are subject to this report. If more than one person signs this report, the certification must clearly specify which individuals did and which individuals did not make a personal inspection of the appraisal property. No one provided significant mass appraisal assistance to the person signing this certification. If there are exceptions, the name of each individual providing significant mass appraisal assistance must be stated. 
The signing appraiser must also state the name or names of those providing significant mass appraisal assistance in the certification.